Steve Bryan. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. W with the exception of the last question, I, I don't think that anybody on both sides of the House who have raised this issue are playing politics with it. There is clearly a pattern emerging here of, a, of a backlog in NHS dentistry and access to it problem. I have an increasing number of constituents contacting me who have gone to their NHS dentist with an acute dental problem to be told they are no longer seeing NHS patients and people who have fallen off the list, as the lady from Hull <coughs> mentioned. So how can ministers help in the short term? And I know the long term answer is around the contract. I used to give that answer to when I was in her seat. <laughs> Will the minister meet with me? over a cup of tea so that we can try and, as a start of a ten, get to the bottom of this, please. Minister. Uh, well, I thank my honourable friend uh, for his uh, question. We have had many uh, cross-party meetings uh, with uh, colleagues on the issue of dentistry, and many have raised the constituency issues um, with me, and we have followed those up. The two things that I would suggest to him is, firstly, to speak to his local commissioners, because there is sometimes a problem with local commissioning of dental services, but I am hoping he will find now we are moving to 95 per cent of usual activity, which is a significant change uh, since last year, that his constituents will be able to access services more easily. 